Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Lego um, Technic uh, Monster Jam Gravedigger. It's, um, set number is 42118, 212 pieces, so not that much, and it's for ages 7 and up. So we're going to take a look at it. And um, there are a lot of big stickers in it, like the here, 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 and here also there the flag is, has two stickers on each side and then if you look from up here there is um some more like flame stickers and um down the side there's some exhaust pipes and it has a lot of details and it also is a technic set so you, you can see a lot of like the framework and stuff and um, it has pretty high tires actually um, the tires are really big and then if um you have the this um, like spring box, whatever it's called. And when you push it back, it moves forward. So it's another cool thing about it. And then there's the bumper here, and then the lights here. Um, and then um, there's a flag that can go up and down and go side to side. I probably built this wrong like most Technic sets because they're hard for me to build. Um, just know it was not, it's not in the all the way in. And um, then under here is um, a lot of like um, axles. So how this works is there's like an axle, I think, holding this in. I'm not that smart with this, but uh, there's like an axle holding this in. And then whenever you spin it in the box, it um, puts like pressure it builds up pressure and then when you let go, it releases the pressure and makes it go forward. So that's how I believe it works. Although I'm not that knowledgeable with that. And um, it is pretty cool. Sorry if you can hear people in the background, by the way. So um, this is the um, um, monster, um, let me take a look at it. Monster Jam Grave Digger. Sorry for not knowing that. But um, that's really it. There's, it's not that, uh, there's not that much stuff. Although you can't put a minifigure in. Although it'd probably be easy to like modify it and put a minifigure in. And I think I think I, I'll probably end up doing that. Um, although I'm like lazy and would probably not end up doing that. And then there's headlights here. And yeah, that's um, the grave digger. And for a minifigure comparison, hold on, let me get a minifigure. For a minifigure comparison, this is a minifigure compared to the Grave Digger. So I can um, go in here, fit in there, and um, I would test this out with um, like a car. Let's get a car here. I don't know how I got this car to end up on my on my like um, desk over there. So you. And it doesn't, these tires are fixed in place so they don't go up and down. But, um, Bugatti, the Chiron Technic Bugatti, the Technic Bugatti Chiron, I think it does, um, when I was, um, playing around with it. And, and that's, um, the Monster Jam Grave Digger, as I said, it, there's not that much to it, really. Um, it is a pretty, uh, it's a big set for $20, and I think it's definitely worth $20, but, um, it, it is, um, it doesn't have that much features, I mean, you can pull it back and play with it, it is, um, pretty stable, it doesn't fall apart pretty easily, um, no. so, it is pretty sturdy, and, most Technic sets, it doesn't fall apart easily. And, um, the stickers, um, I don't really mind stickers. I actually enjoy putting them on. Um, I do not, um, I do not use any tools to put them on. Um, although I think I do get it pretty, um, centered when I, with, even without tools. Um, because I just don't use them. And, um, that is the... Monster Jam Grave Digger. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's pretty short. And sorry for not making that much videos. Um, I think in like the past 
two or three weeks. Um, really sorry about that. I don't know why I wasn't doing it. Uh, you know, time flies. So, um, we'll just compare with another, um, like, normal sized car. So, that was, because that was a, that was a mini. We'll get it. Um, we'll put it, this is actually a pretty big car, but put it next to the Emery Urus, which is a tall car. Um, compared to, like, some other Speed Champion cars. So, you can see it. You know, it's uh, pretty tall. Um, we'll actually see if we can get this to drive over. Yeah, so it hits the bumper. We'll see if we can do it from the front. So, we can... Oh, yeah, it does pretty... It works pretty good. And my apologies if someone's talking in the background. And if you hear thunder, because it's thunderstorming. Um, I just want to make this video pretty quickly and um it's six minutes so um sorry again for not making videos and um i uh, hope we can make more videos my next video is planned to come out on tuesday we'll see if that happens anyways um thank you thank you guys for watching and goodbye